Hey YouTube, Jim here, and welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever stuck a fork in a light socket when you were a kid? No? Oh, come on! The loud popping, the sparks! Oh, the beautiful sparks! Huh, well, maybe doing that and also having been dropped on my head as a kid. Hmm, that explains a lot. Okay, so maybe that's not what light sockets are for, but that doesn't mean there aren't household items that people still use incorrectly, and that's the topic of discussion for this installment. Join us for the top 10 things people never use correctly. Number 10, bobby pins. They're such a simple hairstyling tool that you're probably wondering how anyone could be using them incorrectly, but chances are you're among them. There are two sides to a bobby pin, a flat side and a rigid side. And what you know, that's not just for show. While people tend to just slide them in place all willy-nilly, it's actually the grooved side that should be facing the scalp. The small grooves are meant to help keep hair in place and keep the pin from sliding all over the place. Number nine, aluminum foil and saran wrap end locks. There are a few things worse than trying to unroll plastic wrap or aluminum foil only to have the spool protest and fly all over the place. If this has happened to you, then you obviously don't know about the somewhat hidden secret to these boxes. The next time you're near it, take a look at the face of both ends of your aluminum foil and saran wrap box. You'll notice two punch-out tabs which, when pushed in, keep the spool from not cooperating and being pulled right out of the box as you measure out how much you need. Number 8. Earbuds Don't you just hate how much pressure you feel when you wear your earbuds? Well, there's actually a way to use them so you don't have that painful burden on your inner ear. The right way. The next time you're listening to some tunes, don't just place the bud in your ear. Instead, take the wire and, from behind your ear, wrap it over the top to the front so the bud is dangling by your ear canal. Then, just slip in the bud. You should immediately feel the difference in comfort level and, even more beneficial than that, you're less likely to accidentally yank them off your head. Number 7. Plastic Drink Lids Though some may claim they're meant to make stacking easier, there seems to be a rather practical reason for those three little grooves found on most soft drink lids. Instead of just providing cover for your beverage, the lid can also double as a coaster. The three rounded grooves, which are located in the canal surrounding the straw opening, latch onto the accompanying soft drink cup. Seeing as how easily beverages can sweat through the cup itself, this simple and hidden application is a great way to keep your counters from getting wet. Number 6. Plunger Ah, Uncle Bird is visiting again, and you know what that means. You'll need to unclog your toilet at least once before the weekend is through. Ew. Did you know, though, that you may be making the task crappier than it needs to be? You may have missed that there are two different types of plungers, one that's typically reddish in color with a flat bottom or a cup plunger, and a black one with an extended flange. If you're using the red one to clear out good old Bert's fine work, you're making your life difficult. The flange of the black plunger, also incidentally known as a toilet plunger, fits into the bowl, allowing for a complete seal for maximum suction. That silly red Looney Tunes plunger is designed for sinks and to load the Acme plunger gun. Number five, punctuation. Grammar Nazis unite! If you've spent any time in YouTube's comment sections, you've seen what little regard people have for proper punctuation, or for each other for that matter. Whether it's laziness or an actual lack of understanding, apostrophes, semicolons, colons, ellipses, hyphens, exclamation points, question marks, quotation marks, they all tend to get mistreated. The biggest offenders tend to forget that semicolons are used to join two independent clauses without a pause, apostrophes are used to indicate possession, colons precede a list of items, and ellipses to show an omission. Number 4. Chinese Takeout Containers We've all had one of those nights. You're in no mood to cook, so you make a call to your favorite Chinese food delivery. After it arrives, you realize you haven't done the dishes in a week, so you're all out of plates and proceed to just eat everything out of the box. Strange to think you could be using something wrong in this scenario, but guess what? You are. The typical Chinese takeout containers can actually be unfolded and turned into a rudimentary version of a plate. No longer do you have to fish to the bottom of the container for the last bit of chow mein, and should you have any leftovers, the container can be reassembled for easy storage without having to move the contents. Number 3. Escalators 
Escalators are one of the greater contributions of the late 19th century, providing us with a means of going upstairs without standing in a cramped elevator or having to use our legs on stationary stairs. What many people don't realize, though, is that using an escalator comes with a certain responsibility. It may be an unspoken rule, but it's certainly not a secret one, that the width of the escalator is designed to accommodate two different types of people, those in a hurry and those who can't be bothered to move their legs. If you've ever stood side by side with someone or stood on the left side of an escalator, you're using it incorrectly. Etiquette states that the left side of the escalator is meant for people in a hurry, while the right side is for passengers looking to stand in place and enjoy the lazy ride. Number two, cotton swabs. Here's one you should probably pay close attention to considering it may save your ears. At some point during their existence, cotton swabs or Q-tips came to be used by many to clean a person's ear canal. Medical professionals, however, profusely disagree with this implementation, claiming that by cleaning the ear canal with a cotton swab, a person is risking compacted earwax and severe damage to eardrums. Back in 1923, Leo Gerstensang watched his wife as she put wads of cotton on the end of toothpicks. He mimicked her ingenious idea and produced Baby Gaze, a name later changed to Q-tips. Cotton swabs serve a range of uses, from makeup application to microbiological research, which makes one wonder why we started shoving them into our ears. Number 1. Car Seats Typically, before you leave the hospital with a newborn baby, you're instructed on how to properly set up a car seat. It's pretty common knowledge that baby seats should not go in the front seat at all and that they should face the rear seat. But even that's not everything new parents should know. Studies published in the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institutes of Health show that children ages 1 to 3 years old seated in the center of the rear seat are at 43% less of a risk of injury than children seated on either side. While some cars may not be able to accommodate the safer position, chances are most parents revert to placing their baby in the rear passenger side for convenience. In fact, the study continued to state that 41% of the parents involved chose the right outboard, possibly to be able to sneak a peek in the rearview mirror while driving.